Hey everybody, Buffjee here, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Now, last episode, I declared a holy war for Turkestan. Well, no, actually, that's a lie. I declared a holy war for Siadaya, but Turkestan is easy, easy to say. So, anyway, um, just before I started recording, I was looking around, I was like, what the shit is this? And guess what it is? It's an England, one formed by the AI, who's also formed the kingdom of the... No, I thought that was Wales. Uh, not only is it England created by the AI, but it's also Waldensian. England is Fraticelli. Uh, Italy is Fraticelli. Aquitaine... Where's Aquitaine? There it is, down all, all the way down here. It's actually Catholic. Well done. Leon is... Catholic as well, I think. Yeah, Catholic as well. Um... But basically, Catholicism is in an interesting spot right now. Um, Burgundy, I think. What is Burgundy? Burgundy's Catholic. But, yeah, province. I'm not sure. Either way, basically, Catholicism is, is having a right great old time over there. But that's way, way too far away for me to care about. So for now, I am over here. Um, being... Am I... No, why is Great Moravia attacking the Laws of the Sky? He's trying to make the Laws of the Sky tribute, so he's just going around, sieging down the single baronies of the Laws of the Sky. <laughs> I, I've i never even thought about making a, uh, a Holy Order a tribute, because they must make so much money. And that is what the hell is a rivalry war? Rival... Is that because he's he's Saeed and he's potential claimant to the Caliphate? I've never come across that before. I will have to look into this, and I'm sure someone very clever in the comments will point it out, and I'll be like, oh, of course, yes, I remember. Um, but for now, I, it doesn't ring a bell. I've got a venture threat I need to worry about. Where are you? Oh, yes, you're in Verdun. I remember now. Yes, you're going to try and wander halfway across the known world. Oh. Well... So much for them being, like, your allies. Now, if I was in a better position, I could take advantage of this. The fact that they won't then get any assistance from the Salmonids. Because they're actually kind of attacking the Salmonids. Uh, but I don't really have the troops at the moment. I'm on 16,000. Yes, um, it, it's possible to get a really good battle. But it's a lot of risk. And this is against this guy who is a master schemer, and you, you've beaten him because he's got 21, which is very high, but you're the son of Satan, so you have 37. So, yeah, you can scheme, out-scheme him all the time. Uh, he's ambitious. He's not a very nice person, is he? Threatening him might work because he is shy. Blackmail, I don't think, will work. He's Wroth. Um, we'll threaten the vassal. We'll see what happens. He's Wroth, so that might not work. He's not brave, however, so he may give in. Yes, he gave in. Cool. Um, don't know what he was doing, but now he's not doing anything. Um, you're scheming. You're trying to convert people. You're probably the best person to do so. You're in Bamian. Isn't that down in... Uh, over here, isn't it? Bamian? Yes, it is. Cool. I, I, knew, I knew it was a uh, Persian vassal. I just wasn't sure where. So, that war ended. Um... And he does not like me. One bit. And he didn't get the land he wanted. And he stopped. That war ended as well. For whatever reason. Um, yeah, so this guy loves me right now. So hopefully he won't attack me. Because that would suck. And be horrible. So please don't do that. However, I think... Um... Hamd See, the Abbasids. Oh, here we go. Conquest of Pachanek. As in the duchy? Uh, I'm pretty sure you mean the duchy, don't you? Pachanek down there. You're going to go for Pachanek, the main, my, my capital. You think that's going to work out, do you? Really? Okay, how many troops are you, are you bringing to this fight? 7,000. Not even 7,000. 6.59. Cool. Uh, my son is of age. This is cool. Uh, I'm going to marry you off to the Queen of Castile. How much territory does the Queen of Castile actually control? A decent amount, to be honest. Um, yeah, so my son is now of age, and I will marry him off to someone of some use. Huis 
probably not. Pachanic, Countess Pachanic, but oh yeah, Steward of Italy. Yes, I remember now. Um, yeah, I think my best bet that would she'd get me claims on Finland and Sweden, but I don't really care. I'm gonna marry. Yeah, I'm gonna marry off to the Queen of Castile. Get my family on there on that throne, and hope that you know they're. Uh, Messalian. That'd be nice. If not, I'll I'll get over it. Either way, it's just spreading my, my dynasty and getting my prestige up. So, we'll... Um, I haven't got my vassals. No, I haven't got my vassals raised. How am I looking in terms of factions? Factions, there's, there aren't any. That's good. I'll raise up all my vassals. Mainly to get them in a position to contest this adventure, just in case I can't get there in time. I need to be aware of the Lord of the Sky, who just sort of sat there, you know, just sitting around, being a being a nuisance. I'll have them group there instead, so no one has to wander through their land. And we're trying to catch these guys. Will we catch them? We will catch them. I'll make sure I've actually got a, a commander, because that would not be very good. So this should be a fairly easy... You're trying to kill someone. I wish that you could click this, and it would tell you... It will take you to the person. I do not care. And you are the wife. I have so many of his kids. Good God. I'm going to educate them all and make them Armenian Massalian. That is the best way, I think, to, you know, get really under his skin. Uh, and that this guy could just be executed. Yeah, so if I execute his kids, um, and then, is it elective? It's Gavelkind. Let her rot. It's just so we can't get another wife. Um, concubine of Seodaya. Again. I'm not going to ransom. Oh, who are you? Am I getting a war score from any of these people? Yes, Batas Karasid and Timir Karasid. They are his kids. Oh, I executed his, his, one of his sons. That was actually some war score there. But that's fine. I don't need the war score from captives. Who are you? Execute. Goodbye. Sometimes it's just... You, I tend to keep people rotting in prison for a long time. And it's actually kind of... Not cathartic, but, you know... Almost satisfying to just execute people. That's a bit worrying to say. I'm probably on a watch list now. But the, it's still true. Something about it is just like, yeah, if we could just die. Just get out of the game. You're slowing the game down. And you're useless. So goodbye. So really, I'm, I'm doing the world a favor. By executing people who, you know, don't really need to exist. So uh, once they're all there, I will then have them go up to there. And then almost to there. Just so hopefully they will avoid the Lords of the Sky. But they're still there to deal with. Oh, you shit! Oh, you shit! He died. Did he die? What the hell? What the hell? Okay, so this is Holy War for... Shame and Holy War for Distan. The place I just took. Why? Why there? Okay, cool. I'm calling all my allies in. And hoping... I will be able to, you know, survive this. I'm on 80% war score. Soon I can sort of uh, back off from Turkestan um, and focus my efforts on one, the adventurer, and then the caliph. I think that's the best way around because we're not only will my uh, victory over the adventurer get rid of one threat, it also means I can get some money, which I can then use on mercs, which I can then use to, you know, defend myself versus what is this war? What's this battle? Oh, here. Give me a gift. Ale Alaman. Or something. This guy. He is useless. Thank you. Thank you for the useless gift. Fantastic. So, uh, I'm going to... Is this a fort? A trade post? It's a trade post, isn't it? Yeah, so... Uh, everyone can group there. Oh, we've already... Oh, this adventure is getting in the way. That sucks. So I'm going to go fully occupy this. Uh, and then... 
Yes. Oh, have they've crossed? They've crossed a river. This should they should just lose this battle quite easily there. Although they're not. They've, they're fucking winning. Bullshit. Charge them. Probably not the best idea. I'm going to throw a lot of troops away here. But no, you're going to fucking die. That was absolute bullshit. They had less troops. They crossed a river. A major river. And we're just like, nah, we're, we're, we're cool. We'll kill. We'll kill everyone. So they did. That's just not on. Not on at all. So that's exactly what happens when you stop improving relations with someone. Um... Yeah, so all of a sudden that, that 100 plus I had disappeared because, you know, we just forgot all the gifts. All of a sudden he's like, actually, no, hang on, that guy's that guy's a, a heathen, an infidel, and I'm going to kill him. And there's not much you can do about that, against that, really. Um, apart from, you know, bribe them constantly with, with f f shiny treats. 91,000 troops. 91! 95,000! Stop getting more. You don't need more. You've got more than enough. And you're, you're attacking the wrong land. That's one benefit, to be honest. I oh, know he won't give me money, will he? No, he's, he's not claiming he's just an adventurer. Damn it. Um, so, you, uh, I don't want to imprison him. This kid's in my court. Sorry, but your dad's going to die. Why? Why? Is it tyrannical to kill him? He just invaded me. God, this game's stupid sometimes. But he will actually become my new, uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna release you. Cool, see, you like me now. You tried, and I've just gone, nah, that's not gonna work. So I'm actually gonna now make you a commander. Which is quite pragmatic of me, to be honest. Quite proud of myself. So, he can now be a commander. Uh, this war should hopefully be over soon. Um, and I mean, he's not going for Dehistan. He's going for Armenia. But the war target is Dehistan. So he's... After he wastes his time doing that, I just need to keep him away from the war target. Such as, you know, going to kill that army down there. So we'll go kill this army and then this force here where are you going? No, 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 no. You guys head up here. If I can at least just, if he sends just one or two armies this way, I can crush them individually. And yes, I get a war score from um, his uh, occupation of Armenia, but I will get ticking war score. So as long as I focus all my forces over here and he doesn't, I'll win. Uh, will you stop running away? When do you get away? On the 5th of November. Kazakh. Well, I'm going to go to Kazakh too. You're going to stop now, aren't you? There we go. Cool. Go for them. If I can kill this army, I can move this, this force down as well, and we can crush that force. Nope, they're not, not going to get away. This should be the war over. Stop it. Stop having kids. I don't care. And there we go. Enforce demands. Cool. That's a little bit of uh, moral authority there. For the fact I'm about to lose it all. But anyway. I'm going to now uh, not ask for help managing titles. I, didn't, I did that once. Regretted it. It was annoying. Um, people got multiple titles scattered throughout the realm. And it was just like, what the shit? What was that? Why would you do any of that? So I'll never do it again. It was only because I couldn't. It wouldn't, for whatever reason, wouldn't let me. I think it was too with uh, the religion or, or something. But either way, uh, give away this. Give it away all individually. Mainly, I'm more interested about in the bishoprics because they do give you a little bit of piety, which is always nice. So then I'll go up to here, go like this. You can now be the guy in charge of Seadiah. Am I going to go over my vassal limit? I am. Yeah, so I'm going to need to be uh, careful here. You can have catch or chatch. You can have, and it's raining now, so if you can hear that, welcome to England. I'm not even England. Welcome to the British Isles. And 
you can have that bit there. Cool. So then I will then create the duchy of Seadaya. Give it to Seadaya, this guy. Cool. And then create the duchy of Turkestan. Because I'm still over my domain, my vassal limit, and I don't want to, you know, take the risk. Turkestan, is that, I'm guessing that's de jour, that's the capital. It is, I thought it would be. Uh, I'm actually going to, yeah, you're, you can be, you're ambitious, no. You are much better and you are not ambitious, so you can now become the duke. Good for you, well done. Well, congratulations on the promotion. And I will then disband my, my own levies, because I've recovered quite a few. Raise up the ones I can get. It's not my bloody... Not them. Not my councillors. Don't want my councillors. Not fussed. And this lot can continue on over there. They can go down because they're my retinue. And this force will actually be led by my best generals. I mean, what's he got? He's just really good. I should recycle my, my enemy adventurers more often. Because he's actually half decent. So I'll send him first. He will go and destroy this army. And then... That rain is quite heavy. Um, and then I will... Hopefully... Hold them off long enough. I'm gaining... I'm getting Ticking Wars score now. And they're taking attrition. Uh, are, are they getting decadence? They're not getting decadence. That's annoying. Can someone take... Like, take them to the cleaners, please? You want to attack them? That'd be great. Ah, um, I, I died. Are you kidding? I died. Right now. Fan... Fucking tastic. I am the I'm Demonkin. I forget now. Fantastic. This is actually really good news. Uh I'm an attractive and a genius and an impaler and a possessed voice of Satan. Jesus owns a holy relic. Owns and also saw a holy comet. I don't know, lots is going on with this guy. This is really cool. So I'm gonna have my mission to have a daughter. My wife despises me. Yep. Um, he's a genius. He's attractive and a, and a bastard. He's just a bastard, so he's not getting uh, anything from me. Um, and I th think I'll try and put my crown authority up because we are currently defending, so that will give us a nice little bonus. And I'm going to make my son, my genius son, my heir, even though he's only one, and that'll be a long regency. If I died, for whatever reason. But I'm the son of Satan, so hopefully I won't die. Now, we'll start trying to convert my land. So what do I get in the way of troops? Not much. I'm on 3,500 gold. Still got this large army on the way. Do I have anything in the way of trouble from my vassals? Probably not, because I'm defending. Versus, you know, the Caliphate. So, you want to be my new marshal. I rule in the Kingdom of Versailles because you were probably the worst person for the job. Ever. Um, you can now be my marshal. You can be my steward. You can be my spy master. Even though you absolutely despise me. That would be a very foolish move. Indeed. Good God. No. Not her. This woman is better. Because she doesn't, you know, want to kill me. Sorry about that. That was just uh, closing my window. Unfortunately, I'm right below a window. So you'll probably be able to hear the rain anyway. But there's not much I can do about that. Can't control the weather. Anyway. I'm going to try and collect taxes from my land, because, you know what, I think I might need them. And I've, yes, because, you know, what, what's, there's nothing quite like a, uh, there is, or anyone else for that matter, because I'm needing troops. Oh, yes. I could change my, my thing. Uh, I'm going to become very good at war. Can't change my focus. Okay, fair enough. Can I not try and seduce my wife? No. Nope. Apparently not. Uh, anyone in... Could I... I wonder if I could seduce the caliphates. No. Is it because we're at war? No, it's because we're not the same religion. I remember now. What about the Byzantine family? Nope. Hmm. Does that have to be my court? I thought I could do it to other, other courts. Ah, Saray is converted to Massalian. Karakum converted... Aral is there. There's no rush. Right. If I just want to take this land before 
they s actually... I want to kill this army before they do anything. You denounced. Goodbye. Denounced. There's no rush. Have more bastard kids. It's, it's fun that way. So, there is no rush. Desert, 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 deserts. There's nothing here defensible at all. So I need to be hanging around up here on the border. Then rush again whenever there's an army that needs to be destroyed. There is no rush. And then laughing. Basically, that's my plan. So we've, we've engaged them in battle. We should absolutely crush them. It's a bit of a farce that how long that's taking. Thank you. 6% war score. Uh, I'm going to move my spy master. Resign her. Reappoint. Not my wife. This guy. Build a spy network there. It means I then have vision on everything coming my way. And then everyone can sort of gather in a sturt. Well, where's the best place for this? 18, 18, 18, 18. Yes, yeah, so everyone, and everyone can gather there. That's fine. Um, oh. Oh! All hell, the Demiurge. Give me my, my witch generals, my witch warriors. Jezebel, Morgana. Oh, they're pretty piss poor, to be honest. In, uh, well, not really. They're amazing, but... Oh, you're really good. I can't seduce any of them. Why not? You're a witch and lustful. And why the hell can't I? You're Zunist. You're Zunist. That's odd. And kind of interesting. I wonder if I could ch change, you know, my whole... Damn it, I lost gold. That was foolish. That didn't... That was... I can then expel them, though. So I'm going to borrow and then expel to get me even more money. Fair enough. Sorry, just had to do that. And I am going to end the episode here. So thank you very much for watching. Next episode, I'm going to do my utmost to, you know, defend against the Abbasids and their death squads. Of 87,000. I did get rid of 5,000 or 8,000, near enough. Something around that number. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.